from Motherhood Uncensored, and I'm back for my first official review for Alice.com as part of our new Alice Uncensored video series. Now today, as you might be able to tell, I'm going to be talking about hand soap. And I realize, hand soap is not the sexiest household product out there, but in my opinion, either are germs. And around here, I've got three kids, another one on the way, and who knows what coming in and out of my house. So we think clean hands are very hot. Now, before I get into what they sent me, I do want to talk about a few things that I love and hate about hand soaps in general. Now, people have really strong opinions about antibacterial soap, and for me, I'll use it in a pinch. I'll keep, um, you know, the antibacterial hand spray in my purse if we're out and about, but in my house, we use regular old soap and just make sure to wash our hands longer than two seconds. Um, and the other thing I really don't like are strong scents. And I learned this sort of the hard way when I was visiting my in-laws, and I could not figure out what this terrible smell was. If you can imagine Christmas and aftershave mixed together, um, only to realize it was the hand soap that they had at their kitchen sink, which is where I generally do most of my hand washing, well there and in the bathroom, obviously. And so, yeah, I, let's just say that that soap is something that I would definitely avoid. So it seems like the folks at Alice knew all this when they sent me the J.R. Watkins hand soap. Now, I admit I have never heard of this brand before, but of course you know how it goes. You get this in the mail and then all of a sudden you see ads for them everywhere, I think in a magazine I saw, and I really thought it was funny. They had something like, we're not your mother's hand soap, we're your mother's 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 hand soap, which they sent the message loud and clear. They've been around for a while and they know what they're doing. So, aside from the fact that there are no chemicals, it's a very natural product, no phosphates and sulfates and all the bad fates and no animal testing in the product itself, I really, really love the smell. I realize that you shouldn't judge a hand soap by its smell, of course, but for me, it's a big deal. It's marked as aloe and green tea. To me, it smells like cucumber, which I do like, but However you put it, it's light, it's very fresh, it's a nice change from citrus, which also can be really drying. Um, and what's great is it doesn't last longer than like a minute, so you're not covering up your perfume or whatever scent you like to wear, and you're not walking around smelling like hand soap, which I guess could be a good thing, but in the long run, you don't want to be smelling like your hand soap five hours after you washed your hands. So, as you can see, I've used this for the last few weeks. I've used a lot of it, actually, because I washed my hands. Now, I will say that when I opened the box and I tried to get this open, I popped this off, but I think that has very little to do with J.R. Watkins and way more to do with operator failure. So don't let that sway your decision. The other thing is that I've kept this in the kitchen, and I have to say that it's cut through the kitchen grease and the olive oil and all the gross meat-related stuff that you deal with in the kitchen with no problem at all, which has been a complaint of mine in the past with some of the more natural products, is that they smell great, they've got great ingredients, but they don't work. So the bottom line is that I would definitely get the J.R. Watkins soap again, but I keep it in my own bathroom, which is where we are right now, in the guest room or in the kitchen. I keep it away from my kids just because even though they've been taught how to wash their hands and sing the alphabet, you know, to, to keep them occupied for as long as it's supposed to be, they tend to take a little creative license with the hand soap and they're going to get a good five or six pumps where they really only need one. So I'm going to buy them the big bulk jug of hand soap and let them go crazy and I'm going to keep the good stuff for me. And in fact, I think I may have already added the J.R. Watkins hand soap to my Alice.com reminder list. If you want more information and pricing and all the ingredients for the soap, go over to Alice.com and stay tuned for more reviews with Alice Uncensored.